Yeah, it's pretty sick that we are in the South. We are in the South. You heard them, boys and girls. Um, so, we have begun our road trip to Georgia. We are in North Carolina right now, and our intention is stopping in the Sand Hills for salamanders. We're looking for the newly described, um, scientists were kind of sitting on it for a long time, but the Carolina Sand Hill Salamander. It's a new species of salamander, technically. It used to be just a weird variant of the southern two-line salamander. We're also gonna see if we can find a mud salamander, which has been a nemesis of mine for a while. Um, and we'll see what happens. It's 35 degrees right now in North Carolina. It was like 20s when we woke up. So I don't know if that's around as cold as it gets here. Um, unfortunate, but we're gonna make do and uh, soon enough we'll be in Georgia hiking for indigos and things like that. <laughs> Why'd you do that? <laughs> that was perfect. All right, so uh, first time in the sand hills here. We have arrived, it's brick out. We're heading downhill towards some sort of seepage where we can look for salamanders. Believe it or not, this may be my first time in a longleaf pine ecosystem, or at least like first conscious time. I'm, I'm sure I've kind of drove through them before, but anyway, we're gonna uh, update you guys as we find stuff, and uh, might even strap the GoPro on and see if we can get a, a live find or something. Yeehaw! Yeehaw, we'll see what happens. Check that out, we got it. Oh boy. Beautiful. There we go. Newly described species of salamander. Whoa. It definitely does look different than the uh, two lines I've seen. Sweet. Let's uh, finish flipping the seep and then we're gonna take pictures of this guy. But holy smokes, that's awesome. Oh, and he's down. <laughs> and got that. Oh, did you get that? <laughs> yeah. uh, and he's down. Hey, there's his habitat. <laughs> <laughs> pretty good lighting. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. Look at that. That's sweet. How'd you, how'd you jump in? All right, Matt. What do you um? How do you feel about this uh, this dub? Feel great, baby. <laughs> um, what did it feel like when you caught it? Oh, you know, you flip the log. You never know what you're gonna find. Some days you just win big. No, big time, big time. Yeah. Um, what do you think you could like probably do better than Will in a, in a you know, man mander hunt? Yeah, yeah. No, when we're going looking for salamanders. Like, I hate to say it, but he really doesn't pull his weight. Right. No, yeah. I, that makes no sense. Uh, most of the stuff you see, it's actually I found it. So that's what I'm saying. That's he, why I'm here. He, the channel should be yours. Yeah. All right. Freaking sweet that we we're able to see this uh, new species of salamander. Uh, we're gonna see if we can find any more, um, but we're probably gonna start targeting mud salamanders and things like that. Um, so we're gonna see what we can do. All right. I just flipped another, and this one looks to be a male. It's got the cool appendages on the face. That's sweet. I'm gonna pick this guy up. It's a good, good angle. Look at those whiskers. That's sick. So sweet. All right, we're gonna let this guy go and keep looking. Hopefully we can find a mud salamander now. Get on it, boys. Just got another Carolina spring. Look at that one. It's got some nice spotting on the tail. Cool. See huh. that? Yeah, let me zoom in. Yeah. Beautiful. We've already got our picture, so we're just gonna let this one go back where we found it. Pretty cool. All right, so Arden just flipped this dusky salamander. Woo! I'm not a... Uh... Arden's on the board, baby. Arden's on the board. I believe it's a southern dusky. Um, pretty That's cool. That's beautiful. Look at the side. Yeah. It's red on the top. 
Yeah, Not duskies maroon. don't get much love in the in the community because they're typically pretty brown. But well, look at that underbelly. It's like yeah, uh, no, it's cool. I like the little red stripe by the eye too. Yeah, it's cool. The speckles. Nice. Yeah. Cool, cool. We're gonna take a couple pictures and let this guy go. Yeah. All right, as flipped right here, another Sandhills Eurystra. I'm honestly just gonna put the log back down exactly as it was. We have changed up locations here to somewhere that is more in the sand hills, I guess, and uh, we're gonna see what we can turn up. Uh, we're just kind of cruising, looking for habitat right now, stopping at some spots I've pinned. We'll see what we can do. <laughs> Beautiful dusky. Oh, big one, yeah. Nice. Nicely done. There you go. Yeah. Cool, there it is. Yep. Nice. Wow, beautiful. A little shadowed. <laughs> A little branch in the way. All right, we're going to let him go. Whoa. Oh, oh, yeah. Good looking mud, but it's mud. Woo! It doesn't look very red. No, this one's kind of dull. But it's a freaking mud. Oh, look at the tail. Fatty. Yeah, spots on him? Yeah. Hell yeah. Nicely Flight done. Like mud, dude. Oh, I thought you already felt so All right, Durst, I know you're sad. Yeah, about it's very sad. I know, uh, okay, let's, get a, let's get the photo equipment out. This one's, yeah. it's because this one's still kind of larval. Very nice. Eastern mud salamander. Beautiful. Where's the video camera? I might just get an up close of them. Actually, if you've got footage, I'll just take that. Yeah. Yeah, that's all right. All right, this guy is an absolute nightmare to photograph. Just will not stop moving. Uh, we put him in this Tupperware just to dip him in water occasionally so he stays hydrated. Um, but we're going to bring him back to the log we found him at and uh, let him go. And I'm hoping we can find a more vibrant, older yeah, salamander older. because this guy is pretty young. Juvenile mo. Juvenile. SMH. Let's let this guy go. Beautiful. What? Huh? I have a feeling we're gonna get something in this one. Alright, we have transitioned to some dip netting. <laughs> yes, for the aquatic species. If we find good seepages, we'll look for Beautiful. mud salamanders as well. But we got a newt oh, here. So sweet. Adult. I believe this is a broken tail. stripe variety of newt. Um, in that case, I guess it's a lifer. Um, pretty neat. Doesn't look all that different than the newts up home, especially how dark this guy is, but I'm going to keep dip netting. If we're lucky, maybe we'll get like a siren, water dog, or amphiuma or something. Something like that. Right on. Right on. <laughs> pretty cool. Let's see what we have here. Oh, here we go. Another newt. I got another one up here. Yeah, broken striped newt. That's cool. All right, so it's starting to get dark. Uh, we basically found, what, four uh, Sandhills Eurystra. Um, or the Carolina Sandhill Salamander. We found one mud salamander, that was my lifer, so were the uh, Sandhill Salamanders. I was a juvenile. That's Two dusky salamanders. A little disappointing. Yeah. We're a little disappointed that we didn't find an adult mud <laughs> salamander. Or like, it wasn't a, like it was, I don't know, it was sub-adult. Um, 
but it would have been nice to find a big red older one. Uh, so I don't know, maybe we'll come hit it again on the way back, we'll see. But basically we're gonna head down to Georgia um, and see what we can do. Finally in Georgia, it's very cold. We're freestyling here, just pitching a tent in the woods back over there. If we make it to tomorrow, we're hiking for indigos. Um, that's going to be it for today's video though, so thanks for watching. Subscribe if you like this and uh... Hey kids, get off my land! <laughs> that's fake by the way. But anyway, uh, look out for a new one tomorrow. You'll see if we make it in the morning. Yeehaw. <laughs> Yeehaw. <laughs>Yeah, this is um, Will Robertson Wildlife coming at you. Uh, we uh, we found the salamander. Um, yeah, the only one. One salamander out of here. Found it. Doesn't get much better than that. <laughs>